Hello, everybody. Welcome to one question a day. And today's questions will be describe amylogenesis with suitable diagrams. The question type may vary in different formats in different university, but this is an integral part of important uh, essay that has to be compulsorily studied. And most of the university papers have one or two questions related to this phenomenon. So pay careful attention. When this question is given or this sort of similar question is given in different wordings, you have to include essentially the stages of ameloblast, six stages, right from where it differentiates from the dental amina, formation of oral epithelium that which used to tooth bad and how there is inner and enamel epithelium, out enamel changes, changes in the organelles, form, shape, size and functions. The phenomenon of reciprocal induction, genetic control, and interplay of growth factors and differentiation factors, all of the diagrams, briefly recapitulating morphogenetic and histo differentiations. Let us see how to answer per se in handwritten notes. Describe the process of amylogenesis with suitable diagram. We'll have two important components, namely the enamel matrix formation and mineralization. The enamel matrix formations, you have to talk about the formation of enamel, enamel protein tomes process and overall enamel, that is ameloblast. Mineralization, you need to talk about immediate and partial mineralization and maturation of this mineralization. So enamel matrix formation, enamel matrix formation is predominantly made up of enamel proteins that is composed of two types of proteins, amylogenin and non-amylogenin. Non-amylogenins are from their way is their property is to or their function is to form enamel crystals and the absence of this leads to hypoplastic tooth they are rich in low proteoglycans non amylogenesis such as ameloblastin and enamel is concerned with the nucleation and the growth of enamel not at the production nucleation and growth of enamel matrix maturations in ameloblastin and enamel Tuftalin is responsible for cell signaling. Other things like amylotin, partially dental siloprotein, dentopospoproteins or newly formed proteins and rich in this entire non-amylogenins are associated with being rich in glycosaminoglycans and concerned only with nucleation and growth of enamels. Whereas amylogenins are responsible for enamel crystal formation and growth. The tombs process develop on the distal end of amyloblast and associated with secretion of matrix formation, right? As brief diagrams, how this ameloblast is. And the first layer of enamel secreted is quickly calcified and there is absence of enamel rod. Subsequent rays, the proximal path properly starts to secrete enamel. And this further calcification pressurizes the tooth uh, tomes process to secrete proper and filled with organic matter contributing the formation of rod sheath and this is how the mature enamel looks like properly you need uh, informatic uh, infographic diagram then talk about briefly about the transitionary stage secretory phase before the maturity phase this is where size of ameloblast decreases undergoes apoptosis modulating phase the smooth end of the basal lamina gradually changes into rough this smooth basal lamina is responsible for secretion of water and proteins, whereas when it changes to rough basal lamina, it secretes calcium and bicarbonates. Cal bicarbonates are responsible for contributing to the alkalinity of enamel, whereas calcium, mineralization of enamel. Mineralization could be partial, wherein 25 to 30 percentage of enamel matrix is changing into calcification, mineralization. This happens with the dentin being contributing to the initiation of nucleation by the dentin siloproteins and associated proteins of the hydroxyapatite crystals of enamel. The first mineralized molecule is the octocalcium phosphate, and that serves as the template of hydroxyapatite. The maturation proper is an integration two step, starts from DEJ and extends slowly to the enamel surface and proceeds from cusp to the cervical area the high calcification enamel size rod size sorry crystal size is about 25 micrometers in the form of long ribbons okay and 
applied part is if there is improper maturation, it could lead to hypoplasia, hypocalcification, amylogenesis imperfecta, or other structural abnormalities of enamel. Remember, the amylogenesis starts with secretion of things and end with formation. So here we have discussed about the enamel formation, all this thing in a different things, the stages of amyloblast, right? We, in this we question or in this essay, we have talked about only the process of amylogenesis. What are the structures? The amylo enamel matrix formation and mineralization. Enamel matrix formation is concerned with the life cycle of ameloblast. We talk only about the proteins and what we have left there. So in situ and total, you have to talk about enamel matrix formation, life cycle of ameloblast and all these factors. Now the tubes process starts to secrete dentin transition stage, modulating phase, the smooth end of basal end, uh, basal lamina, rough basal lamina, how water and proteins are secreted, how that gradually changes to rough basal lamina and how mineralization happens as initially as partial or immediate mineralization contributed by the octocalcium phosphate stimulated by the dentin silophosphate of the dentin. Then later the maturation proper, all this has to be spoken and the applied is hypoplastic hypocalcification by the defect in maturation and amylogenesis imperfecta. With that, we come to the end of the process of amylogenesis. Remember, amylogenesis has to accompany with life cycle of amyloblast that we have discussed elsewhere. So stay connected for to learn for another session of one question a day in another video. Stay connected with this channel.